Hey guys, Sam here from Canatac TV. So today I'm gonna show you this M22 projector from GymTab. So this is a cool option. One of the big things that they really push with this projector is the fact that you can use this for like home videos and you know movies and things like that. So you can go back and kind of relive memories and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna take you through the functions of that today and everything. This is a sponsored video. GymTab sent this over for me for my review. I have worked with them in the past and I've reviewed the M18 projector as well. So guys, this is a native 1080p projector. And that's nice because for text and things like that, you're gonna have that extra clarity there and navigating within screen menus and all that kind of stuff. You also have electronic keystone correction, so that can help you with setting up your image the way you want it to and everything as well. You know, definitely you wanna get this as straight on and even as you can is gonna help with the picture and kind of getting that set up. But if you need to tweak it a little bit, you do have some of the electronic keystone correction. And then you have your focus wheel on the top there. So when you do have your picture set up and kind of the room set up and how far away you got from the wall, your projection surface, basically with that, then you can dial in the focus and kind of make it nice and crisp. So with most projectors in the budget range, especially screen size is basically dictated by how far back you have the projector. So for my setup, I have a 100 inch diagonal screen. It's from Elite Screens. I'll put the link down there below and that will be an affiliate link. But basically I had this, I measured it with a tape measure. I was pretty much like 10 feet, eight inches away from my wall and from that screen there. So that is how far it took me to get a 100 inch diagonal screen. So guys, for screen mirroring, so you can do wireless screen mirroring with this. One of the things I always say is, it's gonna depend on your internet quality and things like that too. When you're doing wireless mirroring and casting, you know, there's gonna be you know other variables that you're introducing. So if you're just using your internet connection, and you know you have, or you have a Roku device or Amazon Fire Stick or something hooked up to this, you know you can have some latency and stuff like that. But typically, if you've got a good internet connection, you're basically going to be able to just stream whatever you're streaming through that. The other thing is with wireless casting like this, a lot of apps and things are not supported when you're doing wireless casting. So you'll see here uh, when I was in Apple TV, you know I couldn't play the one movie I clicked on. So that's another thing. So a lot of the time, like if you're gonna be watching like, you know, blockbuster movies and things like that, TV shows, Netflix, then you're gonna have to be wired in with a device, typically like a Fire Stick or Roku or something like that. But there is an option to do this wireless casting. And that's where for this projector it really shines. You know, it's one of the things they focus on is, you know, being able to watch home movies, you know, those family videos and memories and looking back on stuff. So if you have your photo album, that is a great, great use for, you know, casting and the wireless casting especially if you have some videos uh, if the audio is not an issue and you don't really you know the audio is not really related and it's not too much vocals and stuff again you're not really gonna have any issues but that's where you may have a little bit of lag with some of the video so depending on what primarily you're gonna use this for just kind of keep that into consideration but if you're gonna be using this for like photos like a photo album would be amazing with this and you can basically hook up a phone very easily so the options are on there when you kind of go under the casting, under the settings, you'll kind of see this screen here where it basically tells you what to do. With the Android phone, I run into problems with pixels. For some reason, the pixels and the screen casting doesn't work very well, but other Android devices, you know, use your screen casting function on there in your menu. For your uh, iPhones, I use the iPhone SE 2020, and that's kind of how I'm gonna show you this here today. But basically you go into the screen mirroring and stuff. You uh, connect to the Wi-Fi of the projector. So you'll see the projector name. You're gonna connect to that Wi-Fi. You know, you can do your screen casting. You're gonna type in this website as I show it right here. So you're gonna put in this code exactly how I have it written there. And then when you connect to that, you are gonna scan and then basically scan for your home Wi-Fi network. So this allows you, it's pretty cool, to actually just use your Wi-Fi. And I can confirm that I didn't use any data because on my iPhone, that's kind of my secondary phone. I don't actually have a SIM card in there and data. So I was able to just use the iPhone and just use my home network and stay on Wi-Fi. So that's pretty awesome. But basically when you scan, you scan, you find your Wi-Fi network and then it'll tell you you're successfully connected. And then at that point you can, on your phone, hop back onto your actual house's Wi-Fi as well. And then you can just do your screencast function and it's gonna mirror your iPhone and everything. So basically using AirPlay. I was able to do this very successfully with the photos and you know with videos and things like that. If you're watching say like a YouTube video or something like that, there was a little bit of lag with that. 
but you can also hook up wired connection to your phone. So I had my USB to lightning connector that I actually bought on Amazon. So I'll put the link for that down here below, but I use that cable as long as it's, you know, kind of a data cable as well. And it's the one that you got with your phone or something like that. You can basically plug that in and it just immediately hooked up. So it was very simple to do that and you didn't have to go through all the other steps for wireless casting. So that's also another option. It was very easy to do. And then with that, I did notice the lag was very minimal. So that's also going to be better for like videos and stuff. So if you're going to be doing home videos and, you know, vocals and audio is very important, then I would do a wired in connection like that as well. And so guys, one of the things is the portable compact design of this projector. That's something that's definitely been getting better as these projectors have been out over the years. Um, this native 1080p one is relatively small in size. So it's still good for, you know, you could definitely throw this in like a backpack and take it with you. It's very portable. So that's very nice. And you know, whether you're taking this on like a little vacation, you wanna just bring it outside for a movie night, or even move it within rooms within your house, take it from the basement to the living room, something like that. It's very easy to do that. So you can see guys, some of the picture quality and the video quality here that I've shown you throughout this. So it's got good picture quality. The brightness on this is pretty decent. This is gonna be another one of those models where you're gonna to wanna to use this in you know, a dark environment where you have good lighting control, things like that. Uh, in my studio there, I always have some blackout curtains up on the one window in the room. So if you could use this in a basement or you're using it in the evening primarily, you know, after the sunset hours, that kind of stuff, that's when this is going to look its best. And the colors on it are great. I did some other streaming of some other videos I had and stock footage and, you know, showing you some of the Netflix screens and Hulu and that kind of stuff. And like I mentioned previously, it's nice because on all of those things, the text is gonna be nice and crisp with this native 1080p footage. This also supports Dolby Audio, guys, so you're not gonna to have to worry about issues with the audio. In some of the other budget projectors in the past, there have been issues with Dolby Audio and then audio not playing on certain things. You know, Even if you were using a separate device, you may not get audio with your movie or TV shows like Netflix or Hulu or Prime. So with this, Dolby is supported, so you don't have to worry about going into sound settings and trying to switch stuff to find something that's compatible. So that's a big plus. So guys, I think this is a pretty cool projector with nowadays, you know, everything being on our phones and your family photos and videos and all that kind of stuff, especially with the cameras that we have on phones nowadays. This is pretty cool because you can either wirelessly or wired connection, just kind of stream your stuff over. So yeah, for holidays and birthdays and things like that, and when you just want to reminisce a little bit, this is a nice model to allow you to do that. It's native 1080p, so your video and your photos are going to look good. And yeah, it's just a great option. It's very versatile. You can use it for stuff like that. You can stream your movies and TV shows on there. And it's got built-in speakers, but you can also hook up another speaker to it as well. But I think this is a very versatile option that you know you can use for home movies and photos and things like that, but you can also use it for streaming your favorite movies and TV shows. You can use this outside, you can use it inside. Uh, this does have hookups for you know various devices. You can use the aux cable to hook up a speaker or Bluetooth transmitter. So you, they actually have a B1 Bluetooth transmitter by Jim Tab that you can check that out. I'll put a link in the description there, but essentially that allows you to turn whatever device you have it hooked up to into a Bluetooth option. So you can use it in your car and hook up your phone to your stereo that way. You can plug it into a receiver. You can plug it into this projector and then it makes it Bluetooth. So that's pretty awesome. And again, I think that ability to be able to screen your phone or have it hooked up to it but not use your data and just use your wi-fi is awesome also that's going to save a lot of people if you don't have unlimited data that's still going to allow you to be able to use your phone to stream without using your data as long as you're on your home network or another wi-fi network guys like i mentioned jim tab sent out this m22 projector and sponsored this video but i have some other projector reviews and budget projectors and a playlist you'll see popping up over here i'm gonna have this projector link down below in the description so you can check it out there on Amazon that is an affiliate link so it's going to help me out if you purchase through there but thank you guys for watching with me here today let me know if you have any questions or comments down there below and I'll see you on the next one